Hi friends, welcome to oil and gas training. Uh, we are presenting another video from uh, oil and gas training. Uh, welcome to this session. In this video we are uh, discussing uh, storage tank uh, part 2 that is uh, other type of uh, storage tank like uh, floating roof. In last video we have discussed the uh, uh, fixer roof tank and the uh, various uh, uh, accessories using it. So uh, this tank uh, in this uh, video we are uh, discussing about the balance part. Welcome to this video. Floating roof tanks. The picture explains its meaning. Uh, floating roof. roof is uh, not uh, fixed and uh, float uh, roof is uh, moving up and down uh, according to the liquid level. So the roof is uh, just uh, holding or uh, uh, just to staying just above the uh, top portion of the liquid level. So when the liquid level is increasing, the roof is going up and the liquid level is coming down, uh, the uh, roof is uh, moving down. So there is uh, no or a minimum vapor space in between the liquid and uh, roof. So vaporization is a minimum. So remember floating roof tank is also atmospheric storage tank like uh, example of uh, crude oil storage or uh, many other uh, uh, low volatile liquid storage uh, storage tank. Another picture uh, showing the concept of a floating roof. Mechanical arrangements are there to lift and low and going up and down the floating roof system, double truck roof and uh, there is a space for uh, emergency drains, uh, limited water accumulation or rainwater level, oil level or uh, different arrangements are there. A mechanical ladder system or uh, uh, hinge and uh, pulley systems are there to lift and lower the uh, uh, floating roof. Float on oil of specific gravity between 0 0.7 to uh, almost 1. They rise or fall with the oil level. Two possibilities should consider. Either one is oil leakage or rainwater accumulation on the roof. In most cases, pandoon roofs are used. Double deck roofs. The air space between between the two decks provides an effective insulation against solar radiation. They are preferred for small diameter tanks and large diameter tanks. Roof drain. Steel pipes are used to drain rainwater. Pandoon, pondoon roofs are designed to carry up to 250 mm of rainwater in the center deck. Tank associated equipment. For most tank types, a uh, lot of uh, internal accessories are there, associated equipments are there. One is product mixers, uh, mixing pumps, product heaters, drain, vacuum and pressure relief valves, level measuring devices, sampling devices. Another type of uh, storage tank is a pressure storage tank. Pressure tanks are uh, uh, used to store high vapor pressure product or liquefied gases. They are usually spherical or cylindrical and are designed to resist pressure so that the gas remains liquid. They store the products like LPG and uh, propane. LPG you know that uh, C3 and C4, propane and butane. So it is... Uh, uh, atmospheric pressure, uh, propane and butane are gas by using the pressure and it is converted to liquid. So liquid storage under pressure. So this type of storage system we use uh, pressure storage tanks or cylindrical tanks. 
the cylindrical pressure tanks are built in the form of a cylinder closed by two convex ends they can be horizontally or vertically mounted these tanks must withstand pressure from two completely different sources example of a high pressure uh, cylindrical storage tank using to store either lpg or uh, propane the above picture is giving to a tank farm concept tank farm is a uh, arrangement of uh, number of uh, tanks uh, all are interconnected and uh, all tanks are connected to a uh, feeding system inlet feeding system and uh, outlet uh, uh, pumping system or uh, metering facility using various pumps and uh, uh, electrical or gas driven pumps using for uh, uh, exporting or transfer the uh, product into another facility or uh, ship or uh, transport to export to, uh, or uh, for a seller <coughs> tank farm is uh, is a best example for crude oil storage facility in many uh, uh, crude oil gathering center this tank farms are uh, uh, easily we can uh, see so various tanks around 10 to 20 tanks are interconnected so various product crude oil is uh, stored in uh, various tanks and we can uh, shift it to product from one tank to another is possible same like uh, from one tank to or all tank to we can take to uh, pumping facility to uh, export facility or uh, selling point or uh, metering point you can say so in this one uh, pumps are showing there in the pumps symbol is there and uh, various uh, pipe system is interconnected so this is a storage and uh, tank farm is a, uh, nowadays uh, it is a, a separate uh, operation area so operators are trained in uh, tank farm area to expertise their uh, operation uh, experiences to take samples uh, line up and uh, change over the tank draining facility uh, so various uh, operation involved in tank farm they develop uh, specialized operators for tank farm operators uh, some of the major uh, routine operations in uh, tank farm area are uh, one is uh, tank dipping accurate tank dipping for the gauging of oil and water levels is essential for the precise measurement of oil quantities so it's a daily operation sometime uh, two times in a shift it's a manual operation even though there is automatic level measuring system is available in each tank uh, manually operators are going to take uh, tank level reading it's a uh, specialized job to understand very well and uh, accurate reading is required for accurate calculation of uh, uh, measurement of oil quantities next is sampling sampling is a uh, very important before exporting or transferring to another point we have to take the sample and uh, check the specification mentioned in that particular crude oil batch so the importance of taking fully representative samples cannot be overstressed the consequences of a bad sampling are that incorrect deductions may be drawn from the test results and disputes can rise to product quality look at to this picture it's a tank farm facility almost 6 7 tanks are there and in the back side there is a ship is there ship is berthed there 
so there is a <coughs> Uh, mooring point will be there. Mooring point is the connection between the uh, facility to pump the storage product to the ship. Either it is a LPG or LNG or uh, any other uh, uh, volatile gases. It's a cylindrical uh, storage system, cylindrical storage tank. So that means we can assume that when it is a high pressure storage system. So it is a facility that is the island. Uh, of uh, location so these are one of the example of uh, tank farm facility uh, this picture is uh, more or more clear that one tank farm facility is there ship is there that the connection system is there so this is also another example of uh, tank farm facility thanks for watching this video Please uh, subscribe to this channel for timely updates and information. And uh, please write your comments to improve our, the quality of this video. We are uploading some of the YouTube videos for, uh, for better understanding and uh, more information on uh, storage tank and uh, other uh, sessions. So please uh, try to watch uh, this also. And also please circulate uh, this YouTube link to your uh, various friends, those who want to learn uh, oil and gas uh, operation. Thanks one again, once again and we will come with another video soon. Thank you.